Welcome to the Be Great Podcast, where greatness is a lifestyle, an addiction, an obsession. My life has two missions, to be the world's greatest father and to grow the Nova House into a billion dollar portfolio. To do this, I need to become great, great in my health, relationships, business, and leadership. I'm here to document the lessons I learn along the way in hopes they serve you in your never-ending pursuit for greatness. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you choose to be great today. The Be Great Podcast. Welcome. I am your host, Tyler Jordan. Uh, I am the general partner at the Nova House Real Estate Fund. Uh, We build high-end luxury boutique resorts all around the world for entrepreneurs, digital nomads, business people, creatives, uh, people like yourself, people like me. Uh, And I have created this podcast to talk about being great on my pursuit to being great. I am not great yet. Uh, I don't think that I ever will be great, but I live my life on this constant forever pursuit of greatness. Greatness in my health, greatness in my business, greatness in my relationships, greatness in my finances, greatness in my living quality, greatness in the feelings that those people around me have whilst they're around me. I live my life chasing depth, chasing intensity and chasing love, right? And that's kind of what I'm bringing uh, to this podcast. Uh, I've tried multiple different uh, st- uh, avenues and streams on ways that I can start creating content. Uh, and this kind of made the most sense. Uh, I, I And, and I'm going to tell you a fun little story of how this actually came about. Uh, and it's through a philosophy that I was taught when I was a teenager by Grant Cardone uh, called Commit First, Figure It Out Later. And there has been... Uh, numerous people that I have been trying to get in contact with over the last couple of months, and I have been unable to. And I've been trying to get in contact with them so that they could have a look at at our real estate deals, uh, and then we could start building some relationships there. Now, going the traditional routes, uh, I couldn't quite get their attention. So what I started doing was I just started saying to them, oh, you know, it would be fantastic to get you on the podcast one day. I think my community would really love to hear your insights, um, you know, and it would really pop off, you know, with with the demographic uh, of, of my audience, you know, blah, 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 as if it is already up, it is already running, it is already cranking. Uh, and it's funny. As soon as I started saying that, everyone replied. Everyone was like, yes, I'd love to come on. That'd be great. Let's get it set up. Send me a link. Send me some scheduling. Let's get this going. You know, when can I come on, et cetera. And all of a sudden, the tables turned. Now, I commit first. I committed to having guests on my podcast that does not exist. (laughs) And that's what we're doing here today. So I started making these commitments to people last week. Uh, As soon as I started making these commitments, uh, I started getting yeses back immediately. So I went straight in. I set up a podcasting account on Spotify. I create, I I have my assistant create some uh, thumbnails. I started pushing things out immediately. Uh, Here I am within minutes of that already creating episode number one, numero uno, uh, because this is the part where we figure it out. Now, what can you expect being part of the Be Great podcast. I think the name kind of gives it all away, uh, but it is all about being great in every aspect and whatever aspect that is. But these are some of the topics that my life revolves around and what I will be talking about, uh, you know, every single week. First one being real estate. My life revolves around real estate. I'm obsessed with cash flow. I'm I'm obsessed with how you can, um, you know, refinance properties. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with how you can build these developments that are just architecturally stunning and you can represent emotions, and, you know, in a space, a physical space where people can come together and they can connect. And I absolutely love that. I love that you can, you can bring people together and you can create spaces that facilitate what you want. You can create environments around what you want, whether that being a homely environment, whether that be an an event or a party, whether you want to ignite 
um, excitement. You can create spaces for these things. And I absolutely love that. Um, and, you know, the big piece here is I, I love the cash flow. And I'm a, I love, love, love the wealth aspect of real estate. I don't think there is any game out there uh, that allows you to create wealth, uh, lasting wealth, quite like real estate does. So real estate, cash flow, leadership, health, wealth, and relationships. These are the things that my whole life revolves around. Okay. I wake up, I work, I work out. I make those around me feel important because they are important. I make sure that I let myself know that I'm important by making sure I look after myself. I am striving to be the world's greatest dad to my future kids that I don't even have yet. And every part of my day revolves around building this incredible environment and, and childhood for my kids one day um, to be able to grow up in. And, and that's kind of what the Be Great podcast uh, is all about. Now, release times. Uh, I'm going to be recording every Monday and Wednesday, and these podcasts will be released every Wednesday and Friday. So every Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, these podcasts will be released. Uh, if, oh, where am I going with this? Where am I going? This is, by the way, this is all on the spot. This is on a dime. There is zero preparation for this. It was only an hour ago that I started sending out invitations to guests to be on my podcast that didn't exist. Um, so I'm just, I'm winging this right now. Uh, so release times, I'm actually going to change that from 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because I don't think that's a great time. Uh, I am going to change that to, I think, midday, uh, midday Pacific Standard Time uh, every Wednesday and Friday. I think that would make a bit more sense for Eastern Standard Time as well as people back home in Australia, et cetera. Um, as for guests and episodes, uh, I think it's going to be a mixture. Uh, I would love to get some really incredible guests on here and I'd love to, to chat with, with, with some great people, uh, from all walks of life, from business. Um, you know, there's so many great people that I'm surrounded by and that I'm meeting day after day who have just got these fantastic stories about their health, about their wealth, about the way that they've built the life that they have or what they're passionate about. Um, so I'm really excited to get some guests on here. Uh, in between guests, it's going to be me sharing the stories of what I am learning day to day in business, in building this international company, um, developing real estate all over the world uh, you know, with you know, incredible people um, from so many different cultures. And, you know, along, along the, the lessons that I'm learning for myself, you know, outside of business as well, how I'm finding that I'm dealing with um, different cultures and the way that I'm finding that I have to change my communication and the way that I'm finding that my health is being affected by, you know, business and vice versa and how my relationships are and what I'm learning about relationships and all these different aspects of, of being great in life. Uh, but it's all about intensity because that's, what I believe life is. Life is about intensity. It is not if you are happy or you are not happy. It is about how happy you are. Everything in life is a scale, right? It is not whether or, whether or not you can or cannot ride a bicycle. It is about how well you can ride a bicycle. It is a scale. Life is a scale. Health is a scale. Relationships is a scale. Business is a scale. Everything's a scale. One of them is you are being great. And one of them is you have no idea about it and it's all a scale. And I am just trying to move that scale towards the, the more intense side of being great for every aspect of my life that, that, that I deem a priority for me and, and important. So that's where we're at. If you know somebody or you are somebody that would like to come on the podcast, tell us your story, even just, you know, shoot the shit about where you're at or, or, you know, talk about, you know, just life and life and everything that's going on. Um, please uh, shoot, shoot us an email uh, and, and we can go through or, or a DM or whatever it might be. And we can go from there. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my story here as to set the tone 
for these episodes moving forward uh, so that you guys, A, understand who I am, uh, and then also have context as things start moving forward. Uh, And then if you ever have somebody that you're recommending this podcast to, you can always send them back to episode number one, uh, and that way they have context as to who I am, why I'm here, what people are talking about, what people are referencing, things like that. Uh, So we'll always be here. I am currently 26 years old. I'm an Australian. I just moved to Newport Beach, California. Uh, But my, my story started 26 years ago. I was born in a town called Wollongong, New South Wales in Australia. Uh, I have two of arguably the most incredible parents in the world, uh, Marie and Trevor Jordan. Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable parents that have truly set the stage for, for my life. And, and everything that I do daily comes from the upbringing that I have had uh, from my parents. Uh, my mom uh, worked in the family business uh, for, for many years. Uh, and then, which the, the family business, uh, I'll tell you about in a second here, but, um, and then, uh, she went into the education system, uh, and she now runs uh, a hospital school, uh, and she works, uh, with kids and it is incredible. Uh, she's absolutely adored, uh, at her job and by all of her friends. And, and it's something that, you know, I look up to, to so much. Um, she's active. She's very active. She's the only 56 or 57 year old that I know who goes surfing, drives her motorhome around, goes on the bike, goes paddling, works out. Like she, she bodyboards. She has a group of friends where she goes bodyboarding. It honestly, I, I, I love her to death. And and anyone who knows, who knows my mom is just incredible. Uh, and then my dad, uh, was, a professional um, motorcycle athlete uh, turned businessman, uh, which was turned into the, the family business, which was uh, a motorcycle dealership out of Australia. Um, dad has uh, definitely taught me everything on on the business side of th- well, not everything. He's he's, he's raised me through the, the business side of things. Um, you know, as the years have gone on, uh, most of it through osmosis, most of it through not direct teachings, but through watching the way that he handles business and the way that he moves money and makes money and creates deals and you know manages manages relationships and 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 these kind of things so um the reason i put so much emphasis on my parents is that most people in life their parents are their parents and that's fantastic i i love that for them you know they love them with all their heart that's great my parents double uh, as mentors for me in a very, very big way. They are both very successful in their own right. Uh, still to this day, they are shining, shining examples of the person that I want to be um, as I'm you know, a parent myself and also as I'm you know, pushing into my 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond. You know, they're both extremely healthy. They both are so fit. They're, they're so driven. There's so many, you know, different experiences and, and, you know, life knowledge that they hold, uh, as well as incredible relationships that, that they both have, not just with their partners, but with their friends, their social circles and these types of things. So, uh, I grew up, um, you know, under their, under their watch, which is, which is incredibly fortunate. Uh, I, Grew up racing motocross uh, from the age of about three or four years old. Uh, I was riding and pretty much racing immediately. Uh, I raced all the way through till I was 18 years old. But my childhood was all about being outside. There was no technology until I was, you know, pretty much in my 20s, really. Um, You know, I was outside. I was building jumps. I was getting hurt. I was in and out of hospital. I was broken bones and banging my head and covered in mud and anytime it'd rain I'd be out there jumping in puddles and you know getting dirty and and you know whatever that meant I was a I was a a very true you know kid I was a kid unlike you know a a lot of kids today that are you know playing Fortnite and, and on their games um that was never that was never my life very very grateful for that uh and it shaped a lot of who I am and 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 how we've come to be so Trying to skip a few bits here. Uh, went to school. I loved school so much um, until I was 16 or 15. I loved school until things started getting serious. Uh, I was a, 
little bit of a rebel. Um, I was never disrespectful. I was never rude. Uh, I was never a bad kid. I was very well liked by all of my teachers uh, and also all of my peers. Um, but I definitely wasn't one to follow rules or to uh, sit still and do my work. So I was in detention a lot. I was, um, you know, suspended from time to time. And it was all just from just almost like the, the kid who can't sit still, that just needs to move, that needs to get out there and do something. Um, and, and I always understood that even from a young age, as I was getting in, you know, getting detentions, I was like, you know what, that's, that's fair. I deserve it. I was, you know, doing X, Y, and Z. Um, so very respectful, but also absolutely non-compliant to rules and, uh, and, and structure. So I dropped out of school, uh, when I was 16, I got a carpentry apprenticeship, uh, within two, two and a half months of that carpentry apprenticeship, um, that, that company got rid of all of his employees. Uh, I went back to school and, you know, that was a, a very embarrassing experience for me, uh, you know, dropping out, saying my goodbyes to everyone and being super excited about it and then coming back two months later, but, uh, ended up dropping back out within a matter of weeks. Uh, I worked at a chicken store, a fried chicken store named Chico's, uh, under, uh, an incredible, uh, owner there named Ralph, uh, awesome, awesome mentor to me. Uh, he, you know, he's a very successful man, uh, who taught me a lot from a very young age. Um, you know, every, everyone's like, Oh, you worked at a fast food restaurant. And I'm like, yeah, I, you know, I learned so many business morals and business tactics and the way that business is done through that job. Um, I was there for a little while and I moved into the civil construction industry uh, where I worked for a company called Unicivil. Um, still to this day, you know, well, actually I, I started there with a, with a, the original owner uh, who was um, interesting, put it that way. Uh, he taught me arguably more than anybody has taught me about business. Uh, and he taught me all of the things not to do in business, all of the ways not to treat people, all of the ways not to handle jobs, to handle contractors, to handle relationships, um, to treat people, to, to, to get work done. He taught me all of the practices to avoid. I couldn't be more grateful for that. Uh, that company was then acquired uh, by a new owner who very quickly became the best friend to me, a mentor. Um, his name's Tom, Tom Martinus, uh, an English guy. He's still to this day, I, I don't know if I've ever met a human being who has uh, influenced and inspired me in so many different aspects of life as, as, as Tom has. Uh, so I, I work with them uh, for many years on and off. Um, doing civil construction, everything from, you know, earthworks on roads with government contracts uh, to single family homes uh, to, you know, high rise buildings to, you know, uh, farmland, uh, clearing, anything and everything in between uh, we did. And, and, and Tom worked with me day in and day out. Um, and he never treated me as an employee. He always treated me as a future business owner. And every single day that I walked into work, I, I was walking into work essentially in training, uh, in training to, to be the best and to be the greatest. And I'm probably going to talk about that a hell of a lot. Um, it's been a huge one. Basically from there, I've traveled a lot into you know, over 30 countries. I've lived in numerous countries around the world, Canada, America, Japan, England, Europe. Um, I've got I've, here, there and everywhere. Um, bounced around a lot, met a lot of incredible people. Um, and, and it was all on the premise that anything you ever want is in the other people. And it's also why I'm doing this podcast. I want to meet you. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from other people. I want to connect with you. I want you to connect with me. I, I traveled the world on a one-way ticket, proving my point that you could get anywhere as far as you want in the craziest scenarios and you can get any opportunity that you ever dreamt of all through meeting people all through meeting people. And that's, that's what I did. And I, and I'm arguably still on that journey, arguably still on that journey today, you know, 30 plus countries later, tens and tens of thousands of connections and people met, 
you know, we're, we're still on that journey and he's taken us to some incredible places. Uh, basically, I met uh, the love of my life uh, in Australia one morning. Her name is Madison Deal. Um, I know that I skipped a few years in there, but that, that's fine. Well, I'm sure they'll come out in the wash over the next, you know, thousand episodes. And, uh, but we, we met uh, through a mutual friend on Instagram who uh, essentially set us up on a date uh, at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was driving up to Sydney to pick these people, these, these, these girls up to go running at four o'clock in the morning. It was all organized and they all coincidentally bailed right before I, I got there at crack of dawn, uh, except for Madison. Um, so I ended up picking Madison up. We went to this run club which we were all supposed to go to, except it was just me and her. Uh, it was incredible. I knew, you know, I, I, I don't want to say instantly, but over a matter, <laughs> in a matter of, you know, minutes or hours, I was like, okay, this is, uh, this is scary. Um, because I don't know if I've ever felt this kind of certainty before in my life. Uh, and you know, it's kind of from that moment on, it was, it was game over. I ended up moving to the United States of America. She's American. Um, you know, we spent uh, two years or two and a bit years uh, in in the U.S. in Texas. I got my green card. Um, me and Madison are uh, really excited about starting a family. Uh, but before we start a family, we need uh, both to have uh, residencies in each other's countries so that you know we don't have any complications once we have uh, a family and we can freely travel back and forth so i got my green card madison you know, has just gotten her permanent residency in australia um and we will be looking to set up base primarily here in california um, but spending maybe 75 percent of our time here 25 percent of our time back in oz um now whilst i was in america the first time uh, i met my business partner martin papp uh, and we came together on a, the idea that m traditional real estate is dead and it doesn't serve modern travelers and doesn't serve modern people in any way. And the way the world's changing, the way the world's living, the way that humans are, the way that we're interacting, all of this is changing. And we are on a mission with a company called the Nova House that we created to change the way that the world lives, works, plays, connects, uh, and, and goes about their life. You know, we're creating properties in other countries, places like Costa Rica, uh, Indonesia, uh, Thailand, Mexico, Colombia, the Philippines, uh, you know, all these incredible, incredible locations with everything that you need there. You know, you've got your gym, your sauna, your ice bath, your working station, your meeting room, your quiet spaces, your podcast studio, your content creation room, your hot tubs, your fire pits, your lodging, your anything and everything all in one place that you can do any, anything and everything that you want from. That's what we're creating. Uh, and, and we're very excited about that. Uh, so that's, and also not only are we, are we changing the world in that aspect, but it is lucrative. It is lucrative. The amount that these properties are going to cash flow for the amount that we can build them for at the quality that we can build them for is insane. It's incredible. Uh, and, and it's, and it really lights me up every single day. You know, the, you, you hear about these stories about people that just jump out of bed in the morning and, you know, I think I'm, I'm one of those cases where I, I find it hard to even go to bed at night. Because like, this is incredible. Like, I get to work on this every single day. Uh, and I've got incredible people who, who believe in us and they believe in our mission. They believe in our goals and our dreams and, and, and where we're taking this and, and, the, and this new vision of the way that the, the world works and the way that families connect and, and, and you know, integrate into, into the world. Uh, so that's, that's the goal. Now, I know this is going on long. I didn't mean for it to be this case. I'm a little bit excited, um, which pretty standard. Uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm currently, as I said, in Newport Beach in California. Uh, and yeah, we're just kicking this off. I am very open to this. I'm very new to it. I used to run a podcast uh, a couple of years ago back in Australia. I ran it for about a year, many guests. It was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, I, I ended up quitting purely based on the amount of work that was involved. I got into it as a bit of a, almost like a get rich quick scheme where you think it's going to be 
you know, you're just going to, it's going to happen overnight. Um, terrible mindset, terrible mindset. And that's how I started that lasted about a year. Um, you know, I think I got like 5,000 views total, which is, which is great. Um, I had, I think I had 20 episodes, maybe I'm not sure. Um, all of which were with guests. Uh, it was incredible, but I, I was just, for lack of a better word, a kid about it mentally. And I treated it that way. And, you know, I just let it fizzle out. Uh, and I, I definitely know that this is a new perspective. This is a, I'm, I'm doing this because I'm going to be doing this for decades and I'm going to have facilities all around the world where I can record these with new experiences and new guests and new people. I'm really excited about that. So I'm coming at this with a new light. Um, this is something that I'm going to be doing for decades in the future. This is something that I'm going to be talking with incredible people. Uh, and I'm really excited to, to even use this as almost like a, a self therapy session, kind of like what today has turned into where I'm just sort of just chatting absolute shit about my life and just spilling so many details that you probably didn't ask for, nor do you care about. Uh, and I'm sure that that's probably going to, going to flow into a, a lot of different episodes there. So I look forward to speaking to you all be great. I don't know what it is that you do in life. I don't know why that you're listening. Maybe we have come across paths at some point. Maybe we're friends. Maybe you just found this. Maybe you've been recommended. I'm not sure, but I hope that you are chasing intensity. I hope that you're chasing greatness. I hope that you're chasing thriving, passionate relationships and some incredible financial situations for yourself. I hope you're buying cash flowing real estate. I hope that you are healthy and fit. And you're challenging not only your physical body, which I need to do better at, but also your mental side of things as well. I hope you are challenging yourself because that is where the juice of life is, the fulfillment, the fulfillment in overcoming hard things, right? And, that, and that's what greatness is. Greatness is going up against something that's really fucking hard, overcoming it and, and, and beating that door down until you are great at it. Be great. Enjoy your week and I'll speak to you soon.